Good day everyone. I hope this uh, finds you well and if not getting well because there's a you know there's a train coming so you got to get your body as healthy as you can. Again if you've reached some plateaus and long-term work on the body uh, I think is interesting and I think you have to make it a hobby and part of your way of life. I don't think you can separate your your diet and, and life and your detoxification from everyday life. Now, yeah, we dig in and, uh, you know, we try to get you up on fruits and fruit fasting and stuff like that, but truly, that's only from a point of view that some other diet is better, which it isn't. There isn't any better diet than all fruits, berries, and melons. For humans, there is no better diet. There is no more nutrition out there. You get royal jelly and you can get a few things like that out there. You can go to your uh, greens, particularly your alfalfas. You can go to your seaweeds, the kelp, and you got mega nutrition. But as you've seen with Dimitri and others on fast, they grow their nails hard. I mean, the body, it isn't about nutrition coming in that strengthens it. It's about getting rid of that which weakens it. So, and I think that's been man's big problem. He doesn't understand that we're eating a diet that weakens the body. The body's naturally strong. And so we have these, this fixation on proteins, which the body can't even use. Matter of fact, if you study this, most immune responses are against proteins of all types. Dairy glutens, uh, all types of uh, proteins. Milk proteins, your body just doesn't deal with proteins well. Nor does it deal with too much concentrated fats. One of the questions here is about coconuts. I want to talk about that. And then um, uh, complex sugar starches. Our body doesn't deal well with any of these complex structures. I think if you look at the body, it likes simplicity. Simplicity in diet, simplicity in thought, simplicity in desire. Simplicity always around makes for a happier experience here. The complication of things uh, brings stress and... Uh, uh, separation and egos and differences and things like that. So keeping it simple is real important, uh, particularly with diet. And we don't really understand it all because you're breathing all the carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen that you need to live. That's why breatharian, the thought of breatharians wasn't a deficiency thinking because you were consuming these at more etheric levels. But then you were thinking and your body was more attuned etherically. We don't even really, in our physical sciences, have a real clue. And unfortunately, you know, we, we're still in the lab trying to come up with ridiculous concepts and still killing animals in laboratory experiments, still hurting primates and killing rats all over the place. We're still doing all these barbaric things. For what? You know, for what? Because you can take anybody out there and get them well. I mean, there are a few that has, has allowed this, this savage AMA to rip their bodies full of chemo and radiation, thinking there's some curative value, which they know better. I don't know where we're at with this barbaric thinking still. But, you, you know, except for those that come here and they just are hanging on a shoestring and we just can't get their health back most everybody gets their health back and then some beyond beyond what they've ever dreamed of they could get and i i think that when you look at that and all you facebook uh beautiful souls all you people helping us you're seeing the difference between a fruit berry and melon program versus a vegetable program Vegetables don't even fit with the human physiology or anatomy. It doesn't fit. But we eat them, okay, and I don't have a problem with them, of course. But when you're detoxifying, you're trying to get into the body to get it well, knowing that the reason it's unwell has been the dietary habits that in the first place, going back in the genetic tree, weakening the cells as the generations come forth. Now that we're totally mad scientists and we're playing with chemistry like it's our, our best friend, uh, we've got radical chemistry everywhere now. And none of the obvious uh, things that are affecting this planet for the future for the kids and souls to come here and, and rotate are being addressed. 
So I don't know. It's, I think you guys have a much bigger role than maybe you realize in learning and growing and how you deal with this and then what you do with it after you get it and you take care of yourself. Because I can tell you that you get if you give. You will always see this in your life. If you become the giver, you will get that back. If you become the lover, you will get that back. You know, and that that old saying, you you get what you give, and that's exactly what you put out there as a healer, because you don't need anything. Your ego doesn't need to be padded. Nothing needs to be done that way because you're part of the divine. We are all part of the divine. Everything's a part of the divine. So at one level or another. So let's go through these are more question and answers today. I know that I'm going to try to take. Tomorrow, Friday, if I can, with Drew, and we go over a bunch of the eyes that we're getting from you guys. I think that would be a nice thing if we can catch up with that. And thanks for the feedback about the case studies. I think they're they're definitely helpful. I try to go over that with each case, but I think that as we get cases with multiple problems, I want to show you guys not to freak out that there's generally one cause to all of that. And it's just that when you're talking about a problem in the human body, it's 9.99% always the lymphatic system. It's 9.999% always the acid side of chemistry, even in trauma situations. Acids are all part of this whole character of decay and inflammation and mutation of cells. So it's not difficult to understand that and then know that the, the kidneys and the skin are the eliminative organs to this gigantic system. And that when you start to see a pain in one place, you're building in all places. And you know, some lady was out in our waiting room waiting on Marcy and she said, well, I wish my sister would come in here. She said they removed half of her intestines, half of her pancreas, uh, her gallbladder, or her uterus and ovaries, and she started. They started cutting this lady up, dicing her up big time. And I, I told her, I said, of course she's done the chemo and the radiation, which, you know, to be lucky if this the soul survives this. Uh, you know, when you start removing half of your organs and glands, and you then you do chemo and, and radiation. I mean, when 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 man wakes up and looks at that scenario, uh, it, it's going to be regurgitating how. Uh, barbaric and dark agey that whole thing is. But the point to this is that when you see an individual having a problem in the GI tract, it's all through them. A problem with the liver, elevated liver enzymes, it's all through your bowels and pancreas and everywhere else. It's just a matter of time that you see the head start popping up. And they have the audacity to say that your cancer walks around like it's some kind of entity and moves from one tissue to another. I mean, it, frankly, some of this stuff is beyond, uh, you could even make it up, some of it is. It's ridiculous. And so you really have to get grounded and keep it simple. If you keep things simple, you'll see more. You know, if you get lost in thought, you'll lose what you know. And that's the trouble with all these supplements and all these probiotics and digestive enzymes and all this crap that's out there. These people that fall prey to that or sucked into this consciousness lose some of this higher level thinking. It's because we're more simplistic in our thinking, but we're right on point. And we're right on truth. And never fear that. You know, man is grabbing for straws when he has to do what each and every one of you are doing right now. You're each one of you that are in the process of getting themselves well are doing this because you're more advanced. You're more advanced in your awareness. You're more awake in your awareness. And you have to understand that. That man's sleeping at this level. Soul is totally absorbed into this highly chemical, highly inert level of creation. And many of you are sent here to help others awake, and many of you are awakening. And that's a, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. And so you're seeing and being able to do things other souls can't do right now. They're sleeping too much. They let their mind dominate the consciousness. And so they're confused. They don't know what to believe in. And of course, you know, all the games that's played here at that level, 
you know, from the World Health Organization to the World Bankers to these games that these souls play. That's one big chess game. Uh, this is from Linda. Thank you, Linda, sweetheart. I love you too, sweetheart. I appreciate that uh, thought there, being real kind to me. This is my 16-year-old daughter. Through your help and watching your videos, I know now that instead of having her tonsils adenoids removed, she should have steered away uh, from medical doctors. Wish I had found you before. And this, you know, this is another reason, these kind of comments are another reason that I, I do this and I think that you all do this, is that... Uh, you know, when you start butchering the children, which is what's going on, of course, tonsil removal has been going on for quite some time now. I thought they would grow out of that, but uh, man, this uh, is not, not doing that. Uh, now she's working on her adrenals, the girl, and the, and the candida problems and things like that, so that's, she's doing good. So, good job there to that one, dear. My concerns here, it says, my, now, my 77... 78 in January, a year old mother was an administrator at a big hospital for a decade back in the 70s and 80s. She ate bottles of tum oh man, she ate bottles of tums like it was candy uh, from that time on till three years ago when she moved here. Uh, and that that she's lucky she has her bowels left because you know when you have these acid conditions, people have to be able to help you with them. These are simple things to remedy. And remember, we're talking about three acid conditions here, uh, where your pancreas is involved in, in, in low bicarbonate, where you're interstitially backed up lymphatically, that's the worst one, or you have a lot of sulfur. All these three different types of acid, uh, I don't even call them refluxes, but acid conditions of the gut uh, is why we would take Tums or calcium or anything like that. It's funny, Tum, you don't need any chemical, just eat an apple. Eat anything that's base chemistry, neutralizes acid chemistry. In an RV in our backyard because she is determined to stay independent. Sounds like a good woman. Uh, with us due to Alzheimer's. Yeah, that's sad right there. But she's burning all the way up, burning her brain as well. So, you know, for me, when I see a case of dementia or Alzheimer's, I'm upper circuit brain and nerve right off. And then I'm going after the problem. I'm going after the lymphatic system. I'm going after the acid condition that this lady's been taking tons of Tums for all these years. I'm going after that because you've got to go after the causative factors always. Can't treat the symptoms all the time. That shows to be a no-brainer. No one gets well from that. They spend a lot of money, move from doc to doc, and never get well from that. And you've got to actually plant your feet on the ground sometime and make a stand and say, you know what, I'm learning what's causing this and now I'm going to work myself back into Wellville. Because it's a job. It's a job to move from Hellville to Wellville for some people. And, but what else are you going to do? Play the little games they have down here on earth? I mean, these are all games people play. But you want to be well all the way for your spirituality, for what's coming next in your journey, and for your journey in the moment. So, you know, journeys are journeys, but uh, being uh, as strong and healthy and happy and awake in a journey is good. Uh, I weaned her off of Tums, even though uh, this angered her greatly. Uh-oh. <laughs> I bet. Her problems that I am trying my hardest to see her cured from are high blood pressure. Okay, so stop right there. High blood pressure, you know at 78, this is always kidneys. I mean, she might have the cerebellum, particularly with the Alzheimer's and stuff. Remember, the cerebellum part of the brain is where the second nervous system of the body, the autonomic, which makes everything move, comes in here. And that is where your equilibrium dizzy vertigo center is. All MS cases have, have the cerebellum problems. All Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's all have this cerebellum problem. Always. And then with that, you get the brain lesions from, uh, from the acids. And the same thing going on with her in Alzheimer's or even dementia. Uh, so, but you always know that at 77 or 78 years old, it's the kidneys. Matter of fact, honey, your daughter at 16, it's the kidneys. So kidneys and adrenals for everyone. That would be a, that would be a given. That would be one of your base foundations that you would build when you're building a health program for someone or yourself. That foundation, that strong foundation, is always going to include the eliminative organs. That's the GI tract, 
That's the kidneys and, of course, the adrenals on top. But you want to look at all the endocrine glands. The pituitary, which is the master gland, controls ovaries, controls thyroid, controls parathyroid, controls adrenals, pancreas. The, the, the brain controls that. That's the autonomic. I mean, that's the central nervous system. The autonomic is what the communication from the central to the parasympathetic, then that goes and tells everybody at the nerve in the, the, the brain in the solar plexus, stomach area, that tells these ganglia to, to move and to breathe. And you've got the adrenals, which also deals with that as well. The emotional driver, the neurotransmitters, things like this. But so high blood pressure, you're always going after her kidneys and adrenals, always. Of course, you're going upper circuit brain and nerve. I would in, in my cases. She's on 5 milligrams of Norvast per day for many years now. She has had two blood clots at the same time. So, keeping someone that's older from blood clots, strokes, and heart attacks is always a base diet. It's always a high fruit, berry, and melon diet because this fruits, berries, and melons keeps your blood perfect keeps it from clotting, keeps it at the perfect pH, keeps the lymphatic system clean, keeps the kidneys clean, gets the nervous system up. I can't tell you one thing they don't do. It's just incredible. And when you're older, you don't do the proteins because everything's breaking down on you. You don't do the proteins. Of course, you don't do the dairy products. You, the grains get away from them. You know, get into fresh living foods because that's going to give you a fresh living lifestyle and that you have to move that with your mom and try your best with Alzheimer's good luck I mean it's a sad situation very familiar with that well with blood clots you want them on fruits berries and melons one in her lower right leg and one in the tube between her urethra and bladder they put a temp stent in during her hospital stay at the same time she was bleeding a good amount through a catheter they never told me when she was bleeding from. Now that gives you another thought also. Uh, there's a bleeding formula that, uh, that we have, and that's for internal bleeding. So if you have someone that has internal bleeding, the bleeding formula is to stop that. Good to have in your medicine cabinet. Even for women that have excessive bleeding in periods, you've got to fix your pituitary and your ovaries. But you, want, you can use that to stop excessive bleeding or any internal bleeding. At the same time, at this age of this lady, you want to think about her parathyroid gland and strengthening her uh, connective tissue. This will strengthen the capillary walls and it will keep her from bleeding so much. In mail for 10 days for this problem, December of last year. They put her on warfarin, 5 milligrams daily since. I do her uh, INR a few times a week. Her doc sent to her for a mammogram, a mammogram, a mammogram at 78 years old. You're going to give this lady a mammogram. You're going to put more radiation in her. Think of thermography. Uh, when it came back abnormal, she sent her for another mammogram. Oh, that's cool. Now you got double radiation, which I've seen double radiation cause breast cancer in women. I got a lady that was shot seven times to try to get a view of a dense breast. She got breast cancer from it. So, I mean, this is insane. The same visit to imaging, she had a sonogram following a mammogram. She has a 5 uh, millimeter by 3 millimeter by 2 millimeter spot. The radiologist said he thinks it's cancer. Her assistant is one that told me about uh, soursop uh, curing cancer, so I took that spot uh, seriously. Yeah, I mean, you're going you're gonna to really, what were they, if she has a spot in the breast at 78 years old, I mean, that, that would be a given. Go, you got to go back to the kidneys, why she has high blood pressure, this is about her lymph system, why it causes the dementia or Alzheimer's, you know, look at all these things like that. You're going to always go to the lymph system, you're going to always go to acidosis, you're going to always go to these factors. I have had her on, we worked up to 5, 100 milligrams of uh, Laetrile daily since. Laetrile, to be honest with you, you know, B17, I've only used Laetrile, in the earlier days I used a lot of Laetrile, but I tell you, I never saw any improvement with it. I, to me, it's almost like a lipid that can help loosen up a, a tumor a little bit. I've used it to loosen up a, a tumor on bone down in Mexico before, but to tell you the truth, your mom needs so much deeper of work than a little bit of Laetrile, sweetheart. A month of time on soursop uh, since it w uh, will cause Parkinson's. Huh. 
This 411 was not told to me at the time the soursop was suggested. I also gave her seven raw apricot uh, seeds a day and changed her highly acidic uh, diet to fruits and vegetables. Well, that's the best thing I've heard so far that you've done. Uh, I, I used to do the apricot seeds myself. I had others do them and stuff. But you know what? We're, we, we keep thinking about one component like a B17 that, that, could, that could cure something like a, a, a blocked lymph system with high acidosis. It's not going to happen. It doesn't happen. I've been around the whole world of cancer all my life in, this, uh, in my practice. Uh, even though we don't treat diseases, and, and, and would I would be uh, insulted if someone even insinuated that, because it would show a high level of ignorance on my part that I'd even consider the terminology disease as even being a factual event, and that's ridiculous. These are made-up concepts. There's actuality. There, there's true the way the body works. There's fluids. There's cells. There's chemistry. Physics. Sorry. You know, so uh, just know that that's what you're doing the best is the fruits and the vegetables. Since she has lost teeth, yes, I do steam vegetables for her so they are soft enough. And that's the point as you get older and you get soft teeth or if you lost your teeth, vegetables are not your friends. Fruits are going to be, it's going to push you. If you look at this from another point of view, it pushes you to the fruit levels. It pushes you all the way up to even fasting. If you don't do anything about stuff, you'll lose your hunger. This will push you deeper into the world of fruits, berries, and melons. Easy to chew, easy to digest, uh, the power foods, or uh, water fasting. And that's what it will do. So you 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 should stay high on the fruits, berries, and melons because you want the spot out. Everything you need done to your mom is fruits, berries, and melons side of it. Vegetables at her age, hard to digest, hard to chew, uh, not really a, a, a good brainer unless you did green drinks. And here you've got green drinks with her. Uh, I also make her green drinks when her INR level is above 5. Once it went up to 7.4, scary to me, but found out it was because I sprayed grapefruit with frankincense in a carrier oil on the bottom of her feet to try to rid her of gallstones last month. Did that work? When she found out about the gallstones, I think she now has gallstones because I was giving her a teaspoon of coconut oil. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about coconut oil. But no, 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 no. This is from her high acidosis. It's in the lip. When it's in the brain, it's every, it's everywhere down below. So this is this is a highly acidic liver gallbladder. Remember, in an acid environment, fluids coagulate, harden, form stones, things like this. She just needed to do a liver gallbladder flush. I put it on the liver gallbladder formula for a month before that high fruit diet and stuff, and then do a liver gallbladder flush on her, clean her gallbladder out. Uh, oil to help her Alzheimer's and, and did see an improvement, definitely. Coconut oil, uh, these are medium-chained uh, fatty acids, and they are, even though there is some saturated fats, these are medium-chain saturated fats in coconuts. And uh, remember, they've even used the water as IV uh, intravenous, using it as an IV. Add a little sodium, it's a little low in sodium for that, it's higher in potassium. But uh, it's the balance. Uh, coconut water, coconut meat, uh, this is a, some of the best food on the planet. Someone asked me about uh, this, and maybe we'll get to that. Matter of fact, here it is right here. Uh, early in this video, I recommended coconut milk, and in part for its fatty acids and their effect on brain and nerve development. And I said, it's what you're seeing here. You used it and saw an improvement there. I was under the firm impression that uh, optimum brain and nerve development is only achieved through unsaturated fatty acids, particularly omega-6 and omega-3 polyfat. Not omega-3 polyfat, but no way. But it's enough to say that fatty acids are good for a lot of things. Also, uh, saturated fats in smaller chains. And, and so you'll see the body's metabolism of this is much different. I've got several books here. I got one by a naturopath, but I got it at home. Uh, but there's a lot of good books on the market about coconut oils and coconuts. One, one nature path wrote a good book. This is one by a nature path. Wrote a good book on coconuts. And he gets into the, uh, the uh, fact that they don't turn into uh, 
uh, lipoprotein type fats and stuff like that to show you that it's a totally different and how flawed the studies are and all that kind of crap. There's another one on coconut water we sell here. Nectar of the gods, you know, I find it amazing. The man will eat dead tissue, he eat milks from, from animals that, that are not his own species, and especially all through his adult life, that he eats grains like crazy, that he does soda pop and everything else, and then bitches about coconuts. I, I find man has got so perverted in their thinking, I don't know what. You know, I find that amazing here. So why on earth would you recommend coconut milk, which is, oh, let me tell you, I recommend it in kids all the time, my friend, and I'm going to tell you what our kids do academically. It's amazing, and it's amazing to see what kids, when you replace mother's milk, especially moms that are highly acidic and toxic, and you replace that with coconut milk, and then you add fruits about two or three months old, you're talking about gorillas, baby. You're talking about kids that, are, that my, my grandson was raised on coconut milk. And uh, he was putting round pegs and round holes at only a few months old. I mean, I, 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 I have personally seen experience with this side of it. And uh, whoever's making claims that that's bad is uh, unaware uh, of, of what you can do with coconut milk. It's amazing. Matter of fact, back in the uh, Second World War, they were using it as IV therapy. I mean, this is a tremendous food source. I always said that if that was a true story about castaways, that uh, once his name would have come off of that island, uh, power it up. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, you know, when your diet's coconuts, it's just amazing. And they use it to check diarrhea, not give diarrhea. I mean, there's all kinds of things. So study up on the coconuts and, and enjoy them. They were the bane and the bad things of life. I've never considered that. I told you I used to go down in the Keys and take my van down there and stop at these resorts and clean their coconut palms for them. I'd come home with half of my van full of coconuts. I mean, I, I just think of the world of coconuts, totally. I like the middle, middle ripe, where you can open it up. And I saw Survivor Man do that the other day. He found a coconut. I can't believe he found it just perfect. He was able to pull that cone out. And before you get it, like in grocery stores, those are overripe. But, you know, and a lot of people are into the jelly or the water coconuts, the Thai coconuts. I think they're not ripe enough. You get that middle stage, you can pull that whole cone out. And when you eat that, it's like nectar of the friggin' gods, baby. I think, uh, you know, people are misguided in some of these things and some of the studies. And I think this nature path here does a good job at dispersing that for you with that. Uh, medium chain fatty acids? Absolutely. Uh, wouldn't that build uncommunicative neurons? No, not at all. I don't think at all. And staunch the intellectual potential of the infant? I, uh, uh, not even close. Matter of fact, we see nothing but the opposite. It's like this lady started to see some improvement with Alzheimer's. No, 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 no. I see totally the opposite with that, man. And um, I just see uh, totally the opposite stuff. So, uh, Cheers up with the coconuts and the coconut milks. When you're talking about oils, I really feel that this is a process that may, is an unnatural process to get the oils. I just don't believe that extracting oils from anything is beneficial. I mean, if you really asked me and got me right down to it, now I use evening primrose for MS and things like this. I do use the fatty acids, but you know what? Not heavily because everything has fatty acids in them. So I don't really... Uh, think too much in that direction anymore because it's a waste of my time and uh, I've already proved what it does to children incredible what it does to children matter of fact you have to be careful because you can turn your children into little gorillas <laughs> uh, physically and, 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 and awake I mean it's amazing uh, what, what I, I've experienced and there's a lot of you out there a lot of you moms out there have done that too amazing stuff so uh, cheer on but the oil, be cautious with all oils. Oils are, 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 and I have to agree, I think, with the FDA on this one, that uh, too much oils are not good for you. And they, they went after Gerson for the uh, 100,000 units of A and beta carotene. Uh, now she has these uh, pus sores on her hand that popped up after she hurt her hand. Now, when you, when you see stuff like that, pus that's your lymph system. That's not blood. There might be a little blood in the pus. That's because it's interstitial blood. And it's simply showing you that her lymph system isn't doing well and that when she has trauma, 
the lymph system has to clean that out. Blood can't do everything. That's why it's a team effort here on, on earth. It's a, a team effort in your body. Blood works with the lymph system. Sewage, nutrition. And so it shows you her sewer system can't even clean trauma or traumatized tissue and all that that implies can't even clean that so it comes up to the skin to come out. And that's, that's the whole point. When you don't filter, then your skin is the only way out. And especially if you constantly traumatize tissue, you're breaking cells down, they need to be carried to the lymph nodes. I mean, they're not carried to the blood. That's insane thinking. It goes right to the lymph nodes. That's where the macrophages are. That's typical. That, that, that's why they're there. Damaged cells are taken there and gobbled up. Bacteria doesn't deal with them. Bacteria deals with the acids. Or the proteins, which acids are most commonly known as proteins. Uh, interesting. All right. I know this is a long one. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, popped up on her fingers. Da, 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 da. It's pus, pus, pus. Clean all that out. That's her, uh, that's her lymph system. Uh, GP said, absolutely not taking her off warfarin. Well, you know, get her on the fruits and the berries and the melons, maybe with a salad. Uh, you're going to keep her blood nice when you do that. There's the uh, blood formula we have, keeps the blood clean, clean her liver, clean her spleen, you know, get her kidneys filtering, and then she has no reason to form clots. You're going to form clots on a protein diet. So you don't want her on a protein diet. This uh, acidifies the blood. There's excessive calcium draw from that. Thickens the blood, if you want to say thicken. Uh, things like that. Uh, lowers the oxygen carrier capacity of, of the heme in the body, the hemoglobin, all these things. So when you go back on raw, all these things start perking up and doing better. Blood clots dissolve away. And that's what base chemistry is important. Remember, acid chemistry is the clotting factors. She could live off of bananas, but her doctor told me to only give her three bananas a day due to potassium. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I'm not a 60 banana a day person, but yeah, I give her all she wants. And if she's having trouble with her kidneys and potassium, work on them because that's, that's going to be the problem is her kidneys. You know, most people die at these ages of kidney failure. So that's why you always work on the kidneys, guys. These are her issues with high blood pressure. Okay, so, you know, kidneys and stuff. Watch that. Get her kidneys filtering, cleaned up. All that's going to come down nice. Her balance is way off. So this could go right back to, again, cerebellum. This is where her balance is off. What would make that part of the body get off? Why would she be off? Is it a blood problem or is it a lymph problem? You, you, you're only two sides you're going to look at. And then which side of chemistry would that be? Well, it's not blood and it's not base. It only leaves you one direction to walk down. That's sim simple. And so this is obviously involved. Well, this is also involved in her Alzheimer's as well. So again, you've got to get her lymph draining. Work on her back. Lay her, turn her over and work on her back and get on these neurolymphatic points. Get her kidneys filtering. Get upper circuit brain and nerve. I would in mine and, and start, start activating the upstairs. At the same time, you've got to get drainage because she's probably getting some brain lesions and things. And you just have to clean all that up. It's all just acidosis. Gallstones, same thing from acidosis. You know, get her, put her on a liver gallbladder formula for a month or so with the raw fruits and stuff like that, and then do a liver gallbladder flush. Look at her liver enzymes, see if they're not too high. Uh, she now has a knot about five inches long, uh, like feeling like a carrot on her left side, about five inches from her navel. Tumor. Tumor, swollen bowel, but that's all lymphatics. It's all lymphatics, it's not blood. Again, same thing. Possible breast cancer, same thing. Lymphatics, her right leg from the hip to just about her knee hurts, so she favors the right leg with a slight limp. What do you think is causing that? Acids to the hip, acids to the knee. You know, if you're not moving acids out and you're moving and walking joints and moving these joints and you can't clean the acids out from all this activity of moving this joint, you're going to lose the joint. It's that simple. Possible MRSA, <laughs> that's what the use of antibiotics gives us, even stronger babies. You know, you, you, you can't kill God, you have to understand and intermix with it, and that's why we deal with MRSA. But again, this is a culturing medium issue. This is her lymphatics, and this is a sewer system, staph strep, pneumococcus, all this stuff, like it's all culturing mediums. Think about the lymphatic system again here, dear one. UTIs, hello. 
All right, Alzheimer's, okay, really uh, was on coconut oil until I know her. She has got those. Really weak and no energy. There's her adrenals. Uh, her TSH is T4. Now you put that in there wrong. Yeah, let me know. TSH. Now that'd be thyroid stimulating hormone. You might want to look at that because with the cerebellum and everything involved in her case, she could have some real pituitary problems, which then would slam her thyroid and parathyroid and stuff like that. But issue on warfarin, clean up the blood, clean up the body there, dear one. I might add that she has a spraying raid, that she was spraying raid, yes, the bug spray directly on her body when mosquitoes were so bad. You know, I don't know, you know, oh, look at that here, along with prescribed Cipro, she was prescribed Cipro uh, for UTIs, and this can flatly kill a lady like this. So, uh, you know, these guys are nuts. No, everyone be aware of Cipro and, and just Google it. Google the uh, side effects of Cipro, blood clots, strokes, and heart attacks, and they're in real time. And we've known plenty of people that have died from Cipro and that have had blood clots from Cipro and had heart attacks from Cipro, yet they still give it out like candy in hospitals. I mean, man, he has uh, sunk at a pretty good low here. I mean, and the bug spray, that's all neurotoxins. So this goes on and on and on, sweetheart, and uh, thank you, Linda. I just got to go on to someone else, but thanks so much for, for that, and take off after that, and good luck on your daughter and everything else there. Oh, thank you, Ralph. Uh, I love you too, man. Uh, I need to lose about 70 pounds. He's five foot seven, 218 pounds. He's lost 25 pounds so far in the past. You see, Reuben, he got kicked off last night, the big loser. Or Reuben got kicked off. These guys need to learn about raw. Go raw. They can eat all they want. And they're going to melt it off. Here they're working them hard and beating them up. I'm amazed they don't have heart attacks. But they're trying to lose it with exercise. And that's not how you lose weight. You fix the adrenals. You fix the thyroid. And you get them on raw foods. And that weight will burn right off of those babies. You know, they're just doing it all wrong there. I juice every day, but on the weekends I cheat, mainly because my wife wants to go out to dinner and I'm not making smart choices. I was guilty of that. I'm telling you, this is life in the fast lane, all right? And uh, it's hard. I remember one time I was sitting in uh, um, uh, one of these restaurants we have down here, and they, because they have real dark lettuce, they're... Um, Romaine is real dark. Chili's romaine is, is just not dark, but uh, this is Applebee's, and their lettuce is really dark, and they, they, it was just so good of a salad. So I was in there one day having a salad, and here was this two large people. And generally, it's the man that struggles. And here's the large male eating a nice big salad, and his wife, which was even bigger, were having ribs and french fries and everything else. And I got a chuckle out of that one, you know. Uh, she doesn't really get it. Uh, I don't know if I should do another green juice fast, eat raw fruits and veggies, or fruit juice fast. Either of the above, Ralph. Either of those all sound good to me. Try a grape fast for 10, 20, 30, 40 days. You know, or a fruit fast for 10, 20, 30, 40 days. You know, anything like that's all good. You can juice, juice them. You can eat them. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, there's really no rules. You just have fun. You do a little of all of them. You try to juice, uh, have a, go on a little fruit juice fast for a few days, then try a, a fruit fast for a few days, or do the opposite. Try the fruit fast first, then the fruit juice fast, then try a water fast for three or four days. Keep playing like this to dig in, to dig in, because you're going to have those moments that you cheat. You're going to have those moments that you go out to a restaurant with your significant other or whoever, and you're not going to do as well. This is classic stuff. Some people, you know, managed to stay raw a long time. I did. But then I, little time, you know, you go out with this, you do that. I mean, it's, and when you have a significant other that does not uh, eat the way you do, it is much harder. So that's what I'm saying. Difficult. It's always good to find you a mate that's like-minded in, in, in all ways. Hard to do. And sometimes opposite attract. Because that brings you in a sense of balance. I hate that. Because uh, I really like the same type of thinkers. And so uh, you, if, you, if you take some time and seek the right mate, um, you'll be appreciative of that and so will your mate. 
and uh, one who is spiritual, one who likes to enjoy health and keeping themselves well. Uh, nice to have these kind of people around you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Morse, so very much for the case study. Oh, thanks, Karen. Thanks, Karen. I appreciate that. You know what? I'll do more of that. When I see a laundry list of problems, then uh, uh, I'll deal with that. Uh, matter of fact, I want to put this up in here. Um, I'll, I'll, you can deal with that. I've got to run real quick. I got my next client in here, but let me try to get one more. She kept knocking at the door. Uh, this is Beth. In one of your videos in response to a question, you mentioned that the endocrine gland formula increases steroids. Does this mean it increases estrogen and testosterone? I did notice it contains ginseng. Why would we want to increase acid-forming hormones? Good question. Steroids. Uh, doesn't this cause uh, acne and other problems? Good question. Uh, another herbal book I read told me to stay away from ginseng as it increased testosterone levels in the blood. You know, this is Beth. So generally as a rule, Beth ginseng is really for men uh, and Don Kwai for the females. So as a rule, because it's not as hot. But, you know, really when you look at these, these, uh, these herbs, they actually are more cell driven. They strengthen cells, like the endocrine gland formula really strengthens the gland. So when you're not producing enough cortisol, this will increase that production. If you're over producing cortisol, it'll reduce it. The same thing with estrogen and testosterone or your acidic steroids, aldosterones. They, what it, this does is bring your gland into a sense of health and wellness. If we were trying to give you more estrogen or testosterone through the supplementation of those, that's more medical thinking, and that has serious consequences. But taking herbs for this makes the body healthy. The ginseng does have a strong effect on the prostate and on the adrenal glands. But again, hot for males tends to do inspire testosterone. Uh, definitely for men who have low testosterone levels, no question. But many men, I mean, you have men the world over popping ginseng for long term. Talking about the 256-year-old uh, uh, Chinese man that died in uh, 1933. Google that, 256-year-old Chinese man, and, and read his story. But he used the ginseng tea uh, four times a day and lived to be 256 years old. So uh, these things are strengtheners. These are tonic-type herbs that strengthen. Females are more Don Kwai. A cooler but still type of ginseng that strengthens the female organs, strengthens the female. And the same thing with the ginsengs with the male. So these are just strengtheners of tissue. And that's all my gig is, is to clean and strengthen, clean and strengthen. Let the body produce as it needs for its needs. Uh, individuality is what separates each of us as separateness. It makes us look different and act different and have different genetics and everything else, even though we're the one divine. So it, it's just working with that and working with these herbs to strengthen the glands and make things healthy. And then your body will regulate that. If you get too intellectual about it, then you're going, well, I should take this because it does this and I do this because it does that. Granted, uh, uh, ginseng and hot herbs like our male reproductive O formula was uh, good for men that you know have winky problems and everything, but uh, and and testosterone problems. But for men that have too much testosterone, you don't take a hot herb. And these are some things that uh, people have to learn. It's simple though, and there's not that many of them. But in a very acid condition, you don't take more acids, and you bring up a good point. When you have a client that's, that has high PSAs, a male client that has high PSAs, which is the prostate, these are prostate antigens, and they're too high, you would not give them a hot male formula, like a ginseng or, um, oh, what's some of the male herbs? I can't think right off the top of my head because i got to go, but... Uh, uh, that sort of thing. You you would you'd be very cautionary with these uh, type of uh, hot herbs for men, uh, and the same thing with ladies. So I'm real cautious with these things. But then in my uh, ultimate immune, I have uh, velvet antler and I have ginseng because I'm after bone marrow. I'm after to strengthen cells. So we're after two things in life, to clean out the body of all the acids and raids and all the chemicals that have come into the body, but also to strengthen the cells that comprise the body. So these are the two things, and if you keep it simple, 
uh, and always focused with that, you'll always do well and everything will be good. So I got to go. But I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in and working on yourselves. I, I'm, I'm proud to have you a part of our team. Uh, we have a great team here the world over. It's growing. So every one of you, thanks for coming in here. Um, you know, and take what you need out of them and, 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 and wear the robe and, and, and go after this. Go after your health issues and your spirituality. And if you don't, that's okay. You know, just enjoy yourselves. Relax more. Play more. Have fun more. All right. Bye-bye now.